Hi, in this video, I'm very glad to have you get started with Java development on Windows operating system by downloading and installing Java Development Kit JDK version 15 and Eclipse IDE version 2020-09, the latest versions of Java and Eclipse as of October 2020. In details, I will show you how to download and install OpenJDK 15 and download and install Eclipse uh, version 2020-09 uh, and how to enable Java 15 support for Eclipse IDE and how to code a Hello World Java program. Uh, for Java version 15. First, uh, let's uh, download and install OpenJDK 15. So we head over to uh, jdk.java.net slash 15 to download the open source distribution of Java Development Kit uh, JDK 15 for Windows operating system. Download this zip file here for Windows 64-bit, so click uh, zip here to download the zip archive file for OpenJDK 15 uh, on Windows. Ok, the download has completed and so in folder here, so we have uh, the zip archive file for OpenJDK 15 here and uh, uh, it's already recommended to check the SHA-256 check some of the downloaded file to make sure that uh, we download the correct file and you see this is a SA256 uh, check some value uh, published on the uh, uh, java.net website and now uh, we need to uh, calculate the SA256 value of the downloaded file so in windows uh, open a new command prompt and change the directory to the download directory here and type this command uh, to get the value of, of uh, SHA-256 third ut hash dash uh, hash file and then the file name and then uh, SHA-256 And you see this is the actual value of uh, SHA-256 of the downloaded file starting with 764E, 764E and ending with uh, 07F8, 07F8, correct? So we are safe uh, to use the downloaded file. Yeah, and we uh, move this file onto a separate directory uh, here I create a new folder for open JDK 15 paste the zip archive file here and extract it extract here ok so we have the extracted directory JDK-15 for open JDK version 15 here uh, we can delete the uh, zip archive file and now let's update the environment variables uh, in Windows uh, for OpenZDK 15 so on Windows uh, we can search for environment variables here environment variables uh, and we need to update the java underscore home environment variable if this variable doesn't exist, you should create one uh, with the name uh, java underscore home and the value uh, points uh, to the uh, home directory of OpenZDK 15, which is here. Copy and paste here. So, this uh, uh, to set uh, value for the java home environment variable. Click OK. And we also need to update the path environment variable here to make sure that OpenZDK 15 is yeah, always uh, file first in the path environment variable. So here we type Java underscore home wrapping in uh, between uh, percent size and slash bin directory. 
Okay, that's it. Okay, okay, and uh, open a uh, new command prompt and type the command Java dash version. And you can see, uh, open ZDK version 15. Yeah, so we have successfully uh, installed open ZDK 15 on Windows. Next, uh, let's download the installer program for Eclipse IDE. So we head over to the home page of Eclipse uh, organization, eclipse.org. Yeah. And click the download button at the top uh, right corner here, yeah. download, to download the latest version of Eclipse IDE for desktop. So you can see the latest version of Eclipse ID is uh, 2020.09, next of October 2020 here, and click download 64 bit uh, for Windows here, yeah. and uh, choose the default mirror site and click the download button here. Uh, for the latest version of Chrome browser, it uh, we block. Download uh, because the insecure connection of the download page, as you can see in the console view here. So, okay, and then you can see the please click here to start the download. Right click here, copy link arrest, and paste into the browser because the download page is in uh, is not in HTTPS, so the latest version of Chrome browser uh, blocks the download. So, hit enter, and you can see. Mm, Eclipse installer program is being downloaded here. Okay, the download has completed and click the installer program to start installing Eclipse uh, IDE on Windows. And you can see the Eclipse installer user interface appears here. And we choose to install Eclipse IDE for enterprise Java developers here. And choose the installation directory. Here I choose the directory for open ZDK 15 here. So open and choose uh, browse. We have open ZDK here, open ZDK 15, ZDK 15 here, select folder, okay, and we choose to use uh, open ZDK 15, okay, and choose the installation directory for Eclipse, here yeah, I uh, choose the default and click install. Uh, you know, Eclipse uh, 2009 20, requires Java 11 or uh, later uh, to be uh, uh, running. Yeah. You may uh, get the warning installation process is taking longer than usual. So that's a uh, wait. Okay, the installation of Eclipse 90 uh, has completed and click the launch button in the installer program here. Yeah to start Eclipse IDE version 2020.09 and choose the default workspace launch and continue because I have older version of Eclipse and it uh, asks to confirm it may update the workspace directory and this is a, a typical Hello World Java program. Now let me check the Java 15 support uh, for this Eclipse IDE. So go to the menu help about Eclipse IDE. And you can see the version of this Eclipse IDE is 2020.09. The version number is uh, 4.17.0 here. And click 
installation details uh, configuration scroll down you and you can see under the flag dash vm here this is the path to the java virtual machine in open zdk 15 that means this eclipse ide uh, uh, is actually running on window on uh, java 15 open zdk 15 And to enable Java 15 uh, support in this Eclipse ID, uh, we need to install a plugin. So go to the menu Hub uh, Eclipse uh, Marketplace. And here uh, we search for Java 15 support to uh, install a plugin that uh, supports Java 15 development. Yeah, type uh, Java 15 support into the search and text field here. And you can see the first result Java 15 support for Eclipse uh, 2020 09 version 4.17 here and click install. And uh, check this two uh, options to install uh, search patch with java 15 support and click uh, confirm yeah, i accept the terms of the license agreement and click finish and it is installing uh, the plugin uh, to enable Java 15 support in Eclipse IDE and after that we need to restart the IDE done and uh, we need to restart Eclipse uh, for the changes to take effect click restart now okay let me create a new java project uh, for java 15 uh, so go to menu file new java project here and you can see in the execution environment jre here it provides uh, support for java 15 here so choose java sc 50 uh, project name is hello java 15 that's it and click uh, finish mm, when uh, asked to create a new module just skip don't create okay so we have a uh, java project uh, here now create a main class hello java 15 and create a package Net code Java. Check this option to create the main method. Yeah, we have the uh, Hello One Java class, Hello Java 15. And the notable uh, feature of Java 15 is a text blocks that uh, allows the programmers to write text block e easily. For example, string HTML. We can uh, right HTML code uh, directory in a string here without uh, the need to escape special characters in HTML uh, in uh, Java so I can type the HTML code uh, directory here without the need to escape very convenient head, head uh, body body mm -hmm title hello java 15 title you can see with the text block feature uh, the uh, string must start with uh, three double quotes here and adding in three double quotes here and i specify class for example class equal container you can type any 
uh, change any characters you want in this uh, text block. Welcome to Eclipse 2020 09 with Java uh, 15. And print out the content of the this string HTML here and uh, run this program. Uh, right click on the project to see the project properties, and we see the um, Java compiler, and you can see the compliance uh, level Java 15 here. You see. And now run this program. Now run as Java application. And you see it uh, prints the the tree. Uh, pretty nice, right? It automatically uh, remove uh, uh, remove uh, the spaces uh, before here, and keep only here. Keep only the text here. Very nice. And similarly. Uh, we can uh, print a JSON string here. Yeah? Create a JSON string in Java is now very easy with uh, text block feature. Three double quotes and adding in three double quotes here. Yeah? Mm, a JSON document here. Yeah? Uh, we can specify attribute name uh, iPhone X. Price yeah. 999.99. Oh, so very convenient. And we print out the JSON string here. JSON. Command this statement that prints uh, HTML. And run the program again. And you can see the JSON string uh, is printed uh, pretty nice here. So that's uh, the most notable feature of Java 15 text block become standard in Java 15. So far I have uh, guide you how to download and install uh, Eclipse 2020 09 with OpenZDK 15 on Windows operating system and how to uh, enable Java 15 support for Eclipse IDE and how to code a Hello World Java 15 program. I hope you will find this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, and share this video. Thank you.